Orlando and Kissimmee are the two major suburban areas of Central Florida where a lot of people relocate to. And in this video, I'm gonna talk and do a quick comparison between the two cities so you can decide which city to move to. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to Orlando Living with D. And if this is your first time on my channel, please press that thumbs up button because I bring you community videos all throughout Central Florida, Orlando, Greater Orlando, Tampa, Tampa Bay, and Ocala. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a quick comparison between Orlando and Kissimmee. Now there's no right or wrong answer in terms of choosing which place you want to go to. It's more about what works for you and your family. Now, Orlando is one of the major cities. When you talk about Central Florida, Orlando is something that pops out. And of course, because of Disney, uh, the Disney World, the Universal, everything that we have here, it's a major metropolitan city. It's becoming a powerhouse that it is. And when you talk about Kissimmee, Kissimmee is located to the south with just about 70,000 people in as a population. It's just very, it just city to Orlando and it's known basically for the old town for just the old charm look while there is a lot of development that has already happened in Orlando when it comes to new construction and stuff you're not going to find a lot of brand new homes you're going to find some very unique and distinct neighborhood in Orlando area but when it comes to Kissimmee you know you have celebration which technically is Kissimmee zip code but because it is a Disney uh, it's it's a community by Disney they just had their own name called celebration so that is the number one distinct the, the lifestyle is completely different when it comes to the two city and in this video I'm going to explore more. So when it comes to the top communities or the top areas in Orlando and in Kissimmee, when it comes to Orlando, you know, you have some really amazing neighborhoods such as Lake Nona, which is an amazing area. You also have Winter Park, which is more of an established area. And especially with Winter Park, College Park, you will see that the construction over there is quite old. However, you would also see that you have a beautiful house next to some really old houses because the value for that is more of an established neighborhood. But when you get to Lake Nona, it is up and happening when you look at that and when you compare that to Kissimmee you know Kissimmee you know uh, one of the most sought after communities in Kissimmee as I mentioned before was celebration you know influenced by by design through Disney and it's pretty much literally practically behind Disney so you can actually see the fireworks if you are lucky enough of a Disney in Kissimmee itself you also have a beautiful downtown area of Kissimmee uh, or celebration along with the old town and everything else that that small suburban area has to offer when it comes to new construction there's a lot of construction happening in Kissimmee area whereas when it comes to the new construction about uh, Orlando you would see areas such as Dr. Phillips which is a lot established older area but they have newer communities that are coming the average price point is much higher for Central Florida Orlando and suburban Orlando area when you compare that to Kissimmee uh, while one is in Orange County the other one is in Osceola County I hope this gives you a lot of sense in terms of uh, you know what you are trying to compare in terms of the two suburban areas if you want to know more about these specific cities like school hospital shopping dining I would highly suggest that you watch the the playlist for different communities where we have done a video about Orlando in specific and about Kissimmee and we have also covered the pro and cons of the two areas now moving on to the next point so when it comes to the transportation to and from within the city suburban areas you know neither of the city has a great transportation system I'm actually standing right outside downtown Lenox bus system which is one of the major transportation that basically goes throughout suburban central florida including the suburbs of kissimmee and and right adjacent to it is i4 which is right over there which is the major 
uh, interstate that basically takes you all the way from here to Tampa and then all the way up north and whatnot. The major issue with transportation is that they don't have a very good system like what you would find in any metropolitan city. However, with the recent opening of the SunRail, which actually is just right adjacent to the Linux Center, you know, you have some modes of transportation, but if you're going to completely rely on that, then it may not work for you or any of the central suburban areas of Central Florida because we just don't have that while we are working on getting it. So this is something to also kind of keep in mind while Orlando is more focused on the business and uh, major corporations, Kissimmee is more tourism based because it's, it's proximity to Disney and Universal and everything else. So it's more of a relaxed situation when it comes to the comparison between the two cities. So if you have one of this, and in my case, I have two of these, education is super important before you relocate to any place. And when it comes to Orlando and Kissimmee in terms of the educational infrastructure, Orlando actually offers you some of the best schools in all of Central Florida in the suburban areas of Orlando. And when it comes to charter school, you have more choices in Orlando, but when you compare that to Kissimmee, Kissimmee has a very good solid foundation of schools over here. You also have, you know, the Valencia College campuses scattered all throughout city of Kissimmee, while Orlando has the prestigious UCF campuses in their area. So it kind of, it's kind of divided really well. It really depends upon what is your child going towards. Like they have Orlando Science School, which is fantastic. They also have STEM schools. Now I'm going to do a specific section where I'm going to talk about the top five Orlando schools and top five Kissimmee schools or Orange and Osceola schools. So if that video is not out there, I would ask you to come back and visit that because it will give you a much better idea. One thing that I can tell you from my own past experience because I used to live in Orlando and with Orlando, and this is mainly also the case with Osceola, that if you are kind of uh, assigned a certain school district, as long as you are able to pick and drop your kids. You can go to any of the schools in Orange and Osceola County because we did that because the area that we lived in, the school, my wife was more into a STEM school. So we had our kid go to a different school. The only thing is that we were not able to use the public transportation or the school transportation system rather to be able to. So we had to pick and drop and that is same when it comes to the schooling system here in both Orlando and Kissimmee. If the top tier higher education system is more important for you, then Orlando might be a better choice in comparison, but a solid education system in smaller communities such as Kissimmee is a stronger contender. So you have a really nice solid base or a solid educational base for them to get to that higher education. So when it comes to the people and community, both in Orlando and Kissimmee, while Orlando is more kind of geared towards, it's kind of a more multicultural pot, a melting pot, whereas Kissimmee is more geared towards, you know, a lot of Hispanics generation. We have a lot of people moving from Puerto Rico or the Latin American, like where Spanish is the main language. Uh, so that, that is the thing. But at the same time, both of these communities have their own farmer's market. They have a bunch of things that's happening. Like the ice cream truck that you see behind me, you probably will see the same ice cream truck going to Kissimmee and going to Orlando and different suburban areas. And the, the communities are very well knit. Orlando is a little bit more faster paced, if I may, whereas Kissimmee is more family oriented, you know, with more activities for kids and stuff, whereas business is more in the Orlando side of things, but it's a nice suburban area. And then again, you know, both of these cities have their own suburban areas, which are a little bit more friendly. Like if you go to downtown Orlando, it's more business high rises and, and whatnot. But if you go to Kissimmee downtown, it's more traditional, it's more older buildings. It has that old city, small city charm. But you know, with the growth that Orlando and Central Florida are seeing, there's no small city anymore. I can tell you from my experience, because these places are exploding in terms of the population growth, in terms of the infrastructure, and in terms of the construction of new communities and, and everything around it.
So the million dollar question is, should you move to Orlando or should you move to Kissimmee? Well, the answer of that really lies on you and your family situation. If you're looking for more of a happening place and if your budget is a little bit higher, then Orlando may best suit you. But if you're looking for that more relaxed, family kind of atmosphere, then maybe Kissimmee would be a better option because you can't go wrong with any of those two cities. It really depends upon your situation, your family situation. So while one city is more happening compared to the other one, it really boils down to your specific needs. I hope my videos make a lot of sense for you and it has given you some point of reference. If you do want to deep dive into more of Orlando and in Kissimmee, make sure to watch the video on Orlando and in Kissimmee that I have on this playlist and if you are looking for that brand new home anywhere in central florida greater orlando tampa tampa bay and ocala make sure to check out orlando home show on youtube that's where i bring you eight plus models i do hope that my videos are bringing in good value for you and if you do please press that thumbs up button. I put in a lot of time, effort, energy in bringing you these videos to just give you an education, to be able to kind of understand something. I am boots on the ground. And if you are looking to, to move, give us a call, check us out, you know, Google us because finding the right agent to help you relocate is very important. So check our reviews out until the next community video or until the next comparison video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.